Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing the Hatchy Bee, or the Eight Tails from Naruto. Uh, killer Bees, um, Tail Beast. So, I'm on a landscape orientation page. Make sure you use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. But let's go. Start with eyes. So, center point to my page right here. Come down a little bit and we'll start with a circle for his eyes. So you just go circle around. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It's not a perfect circle in the picture I'm drawing from. So, And then circle on the inside. Like so. And we do the same thing on the other side. So like big circle, roughly trying to get them the same size. If you have a compass or, you know, something big enough to sort of draw around, you know, that would work. Feel free. And um, you can get these cool stencils with lots of circles in them. I recommend them. Another circle on the inside. Like so. And he's got sort of lines sort of around his eyes, you know, coming around inside here. So just these sort of swirling, hatching lines all around here, okay? Right, so then just down here we have his nose. So it just comes across like so. And then it'll come down underneath and around. It's kind of like a curvy triangle. Like that. Then we got some nostrils on the inside. Like so. Right, and then he has sort of various parts to his snout and nostrils and things. So. Yeah, okay, so comes around his nose here. And he comes down right by his eyes. And then we bring it down around each side. So it comes down around like this underneath. Like that. And then we have another section inside. So it like goes up around from his nose. Down, around into there. And then he's got lines, sort of skin lines on that. One, two, three, four. Mm. There's no real, you can do as many as you want, really. And then his teeth are just down here. So his teeth are always like real big and they're closed, right? So this comes across. So, and then tooth in the middle, tooth in the middle on the bottom, and then you just work out from there. I don't like that one. I gotta fix it, sorry. <laughs> So try that again. A bit better. Right, so, so then we have like his bottom lip, right? So it just comes in here. Like that. And he's a big long chin. Comes down from his lip. Comes around. Then we have the top. So now, his face, shape for his face is going to come around to these horns that stick off, and one of them is sort of cut off. So, we'll go up around here, around his eye, like that. 
and then we'll go diagonal in towards the top of his head, just in here. There is no line coming across here, so it's just more horns that come out the back. So we've got like these lines for the, where the horns grow out. And then there's like texture lines on his face, right? So they kind of curve out from his eye. And they just kind of go up his head. And they stop sort of where, where you would think the, like the top of his head would be. Some of them come down his face like that as well. Okay, so then that big horn of his, so it kind of comes out here. And then we go down. And this is the one that's kind of cut off, so it's round on the top. There. And then we bring it back up and in to there. And then this one is more of a normal one, so it kind of comes out and comes down to a point. So it goes out longer, like so, and then back around. Up, like so, and then it grows, yeah, so it goes into there. And then two more horns, big, coming back this way, right? So coming out from top of his, that horn, and then comes down like so. And this kind of curves around in the middle, and then we'll bring it up like so. It just comes across, and then bring it down. So, so these horns as well have like loads of texture lines on them and stuff. So we're just kind of curving around following the shape of each horn. Like so, right, so he's got like huge shoulders, right? And they come to a V, a point at the back of, in between here, right? So this is like his back or his spine or something. So it comes to there, right? And then this comes out from behind the horns, comes down here. So real big, big dude, right? So we got like, Uh, like so, and then we got like huge shoulders, right? So, like really big, crazy big. So, like that. And then his arm comes down that way, and his other arm is down there. So, the inside of those shoulders are like right in next to his chin, right? So you've got like a line in here, right? That, and then the other line, like so, right? You might have another line here, maybe there. 
and like the center of his chest to be like here down the bottom and like armpit maybe should be like here and then like extra shoulder muscle lines and stuff I always think like when you're doing like muscly shoulders like this, I kind of think about like a basketball, you know, these lines that are on basketballs kind of reminds me of that. Maybe it's just me. Just following the curve of his shoulder. Anyway, those muscle fibers are growing out from his collarbone, which is like up here and like coming down there. So just the directional sort of line. And then tentacles all at the back, right? So like one that goes up that way. And some of them have those suction pads on them and some of them don't, right? So this one doesn't until you get down to it, like here. So like it goes out there and there's like, suction pad here so just do an oval and a line down that way but the one over this side we can see loads of them okay so so we start to go up this way and then we have like suction pad up again suction pad up again suction pad and then this goes up and off my page of course if you have more room um, fit in more if you just google um, hatchibi or eight tails this image comes up pretty much straight away and um, I just can't fit in the whole thing so um, right th then there's another layer of them all going up this way. So you do like just like an oval first and then you give it sides. Kind of like a volcano or you know something. Coming up the side down like so. Let me do another one here. And then another one here. that then another one here like so maybe stacks of one there and the other side of the tentacle we can just see a little bit of it here and then there's like another one going this way and then one in behind so it goes that way and then we need to see some tentacles and some volcanoes, <laughs> some suction pads here, right? So I just add some like going this way, right behind his head. Like so. And there. There's actually some texture lines on his back there that I didn't see. And so that's one side of them. And I think there's another couple. So like here, like that. And then another one going up this way. Like so, and then we'll go one more, like growing across this way. So then he goes like so. And then this has like some tops on it. And then some more suction pads and stuff again here. Just 
just adding them just where I think they need to be really just like here and then So, and um, that's pretty much it. But, you know, if you want to add texture lines or more details and stuff on his skin, on his tentacles, you know, you can. Um, but, my friends, that is how to draw the eight tails. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.